Hi, hello, namaste. I am Natya Joshi and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a clock. Uh, a lot of you actually uh, asked me if you if I could do a clock. I've already done clocks before, but not in this hundred days challenge. So here is a clock today. I'm kind of using di all dimension acrylics. So let me just start. Uh, today I am trying out uh, a clock. So the base, uh, I'm, I'm not using any base and this is actually a board, MDF board. This is from uh, Itsy Bitsy. So I have bought it from Itsy Bitsy and I have taped the back because I don't want the paint to get there and there's a portion here. After the paint has dried and I have put resin, I will be showing you uh, what I'll be uh, doing here. And I'm not using any particular base, but there are three colors I'll be using today. Uh, that is silver from Dimension Acrylic, gold from Dimension Acrylic, and pearl white from Dimension Acrylic. All the three are from Mont Marte. So I'm using all Dimension Acrylic because uh, the finish, I want the finish to be the same after it has dried and the resin has been put. So that is why I'm using all Dimension Acrylics and let me just start. I have something in mind. Uh, I think it's going to work out. So let me just go ahead. Okay, I have filled up the colors and I just want to make sure the edges uh, No, there, there are no more gaps. Okay, I just want to like you like you saw before I just want to mix them a bit. I won't have I want to yeah, I want to do this I think I love these colors. I think I'm in love with these so uh, let me just fix the edges. The paints are not flowing down, so I think I have less pain to fix the edges. Before, as you saw, I uh, did a clock base, so it's with, with silver, grays and uh, pearl white, uh, silver, gold and pearl white. So now I'm resining, I'm uh, doing a resin coat on this. Uh, it has dried beautifully well. The golds and silvers are looking very pretty. I'm just in love with these. So I'm putting a resin coat on this today. So let me start. After I put the resin coat, after it dries, I'll put the numbers like 1 to 12, 1 to 12, I put all the numbers and then I'll be fixing the hands of the clock. So let us go ahead with the resin coat. The resin is not completely dry. I thought uh, I'll stick the numbers of the clock after the resin dries. But now I'm feeling like it's better to uh, incorporate the numbers before the resin dries because I don't like to put extra fevicol or any other glue. So the resin keeps it intact. So I think I want to go about this way. My Amma is helping me out today so that I can be precise in putting up the numbers. So yeah, I am doing uh, the four numbers first and then I'm adding the other numbers like 12, 3, 6 and 9 I'll be sticking first and then the other numbers. So let's go about this.
The resin has finally dried and I'm very happy with the result. It's it's looking very good. There are uh, no problem with the resin. It is uh, the finish is very nice. I'm uh, I really love it. And uh, now I'm actually assembling the parts of the clock. So the uh, all the hands and I have to uh, put a hook at the back so that I can hang it. And my appa is helping me out for this part of the clock. So let's just go ahead. Tada! And after three days of hard work and to let the paint dry and the resin dry and all the procedures, uh, the clock is ready. So I've hung it in my uh, place, in my, in my hall and it's looking very pretty. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, if you want to order one of these or if you have a particular design in which you want uh, a clock to be done, you can always contact me. So. Yes, uh, this is looking very pretty and I'm, in, I'm really in love with this clock. I hope you liked today's painting. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.